Hey guys, it's Justin here from Jack Productions 2000, and today I'm making a video review of my LEGO Star Wars Droid Nuts and Base on Abu. So, before I get started, I'm just gonna quickly say that the reason why I just said Droid Nuts and Base on Abu is because it's in, this is a base in my new uh, base whole series, but the last base. Rodia didn't really fit it because Rodia, you know, I couldn't fit the story into it after going through it. So I switched it to, in fact, the one that you're seeing with a base on now. Naboo. Naboo fits perfectly with the story and it's just perfect. <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's get started. So, on to the battlefield. Don't need my phone plugged in. Alright. Um, so, we we'll on the side of the battlefield. <laughs> there are three, uh, squads of clones, each led by Jedi. We'll be on here, and a can there, and a circle there. So, first off, there's three bomb squad troopers here, here, and here. I have, uh, three more somewhere else. Not like in this base, but somewhere else in my house. In a box or something. But anyway, so there are. Then there's um, uh, two twelfth, my custom two twelfth commando, right here. I'm not gonna show him because I already did a review on him. And my custom, uh, not custom. I'm <laughs> just like those uh, two twelfth clone trooper is not custom whatsoever. So you know, think he's custom just because it said the word custom by accident. Yeah, and then there um, well then there's commander Cody right here. Those of you who are wondering where, like, what set I actually got this figure in, I do not own a gunship. If I owned a gunship, those would be half my bases. But, no, sadly, I don't own a gunship. I got it in the New York Starfighter because I got that as a Christmas gift. Didn't really want the set, but I guess, you know, Commander Cody was worth it. Didn't have Obi Wan Kenobi at the moment, but then I got Obi Wan Kenobi later on. So it all worked out, although I had him for a year until I got him. Alright, anyways, so there's a uh, 212th Arc Trooper here. Those guys are just shooting up. The droids that come down from the zip line, which of course there's one, sign go uh, one droid going down the zip line. There's one that's dead that was shot by Jesse. And then there are three right here, one that's shot, and then two more that are alive. There's a rock there that this is like a test shot. And then, like in between there, there's a dirt spot right there. And, hold on. Just accidentally knocked the rangefinder out of this guy's helmet. Right. So now on to Anakin side, I guess. After like saying this, actually hold on, my friend says, "Oh wow, I've recorded this 12 times and failed." If someone interrupts or there's some thing I have to do or whatever. So, uh, oh, sorry, this, there's a Jane Austen cannon, cannon here that shot here but didn't kill a clone. The clone just knocked back from the explosion. And there's this bomb squad trooper launching a thing over there. There's a, uh, well, launching a missile over there to those guys. And there's a bomb squad trooper like, commanding this. There are extra, extra rockets there. There's another rocket there. So, yeah. And Obi Wan Kenobi's running this way um, to attack with these guys. Oh, that guy. Well, not that guy, but these guys. Don't know. Basically, Obi Wan's squad's job is to take this side. Then Anakin's squad's job is to get into the base. Ahsoka's job is to take this side. But Ahsoka's squad's probably the, under the heaviest of fire. But no matter. Oops. Yeah, sorry if you've seen this stupid thing of mine that I got at school. Ah, school's almost done. I took in my last final yesterday. Just, we're doing some 8th grade math now. Whatever, anyway, so, I just revealed my age, pretty much. Okay. Well, actually, my grade, but who cares? Alright, so the rock there, there's a spot to, the rock here, you know, there's rock right there, uh, there's a one attached to. Then, uh, this will just show Anakin's squad. There's Anakin, the engineer, Rex, Fives, Tup. We're, uh, hard case and Jesse, and then some point clones. They're all running this way. Two tech there, and then there's a droid going on the zip line, which I quite annoyed by the fact that he doesn't like stand. 
kind of want an MTT, but I don't know how much those go for these days. But if I can get one, that'd be perfect because, you know, who would not want an MTT? <laughs> Alright. Oh, great. Uh, whatever. Just thought of something. But, anyways. So, you know, Anakin Squad's going that way. Jesse's shooting up there. Rex is shooting up the Mandalorian, com Mandalorian Commando coming down there. There's the Mandalorian leader and the zombie G Nudgeon coming down here. There's uh, Savage, three Mandalorians, and a well, uh, squadron of nine droids, and a uh, Captain the Commando droid coming this way. There are four Dritikas, one that's dead, one that's rolling, and two that are streaming this way. There's one dead Earth Trooper, and there's a fire right in front of him. There is a Super Battle droid there, and there's a Commando droid dead there. And then there's uh, just two Earth Troopers, an Earth Trooper, and a Commando. Commando Gregor, Sergeant, uh, Sergeant in this command post here, which has nothing special to it whatsoever. And then two, uh, EP2 clones. And they're showing this way, this far there from some explosion. Looks like from a cannon right there. And those two, uh, these two guys right here. That guy and that guy came out from this tunnel right here. It activate, activated these cannons. So. Yeah, and uh, there are four droids right there that are being shot at, and one was dead, three are alive, there's a dirt spot that they're on. Then right here there's a Genosian, and Savage, and a Hassage, and Ventress. Uh, sorry about that, they're coming down this way. Like they're, uh, they're coming down this way, and some stupid notification on their stupid tablet. But anyway, so whatever, and uh, there's a galactic uh, trooper, whatever. I think they're galactic commandos. I don't know their name. Please, please tell me their name in the description. These guys right here. But this guy's choosing Assassin's Ventress. Or Ventress, I'm gonna say. So yeah, look, there's some cool, uh, gr bossy, grassy features up here. It was like a destroyed road. This road would have actually led it this way, but it was like destroyed. Never finished. Because obviously, if you know, if the, if the planet was just taken over by the Separatists, they would have, like, finished tons of cool, awesome bases right away. But the capital, which I'm most excited for doing, will be the seventh and final base in the series, because I'm planning on doing a seven-base series, the first one being the droid, uh, the clone base, which was actually destroyed in the battle, but all the troops were saved, and they have actually extra vehicles. But they're not in this battle because they don't want to lose everything they have in one battle. Alright, uh. I have a note of these guys. They keep being knocked over over. From over here, from something. I'm going to show you once I come to the base. But now it's the top. So this one is squandered. Actually, I don't know if I put this up, but there's a circle jumping up over here. First of all, next one do is killing. We'll try. Is about to kill the. Sniper Drodica, which is shooting that way at these guys, at uh, the Galactic Commandos, and whether they are Galactic Troopers, whatever they are. And then there is a uh, middle right here shooting up there, there's some rocks here. And there's the Geonosian Cannon that's shooting down there. In fact, the Flick Fire Missiles, I believe. It. Yep, I saw them. But these aren't actually flicking, they're just they're cooler missiles, but still, whatever. There's a Geonosian dro drone right there. Dead Commando security droid. Some assassin droids launching a rocket over there. Oops. I guess it's just like launching it over that way. Some random target. There's some dirt there, dirt there, dirt there. Some random structure there. Some, yeah. Um, so, Super Alder there, Super Alder the shot. Uh, two more droids, one's a commander droid. Well, commander battle droid. There's like some communication, communication antennas. So there's rock here. Continue on to the mountain. That would be back here. Whatever. Not gonna like add on excess mountain because this is really just it. It's pretty much the end build beyond this. Yep. Because the point was it for it to be secret. If they just hold down a mountain, oh, if it collapses, that'd be horrible. All right. Anyway, so there is an ATRT here running this way, trying to destroy the cannon. There's a Bacara trooper that was shot down. His missile's going like 
this way it will either hit the clone or this and the clone lost his helmet and his gun and just pulled the head off the battle droid and whatever uh commando droid there shooting this way yeah some awesome dirt features yeah uh my this legion right here is the 407th legion uh 409th legion sorry it's my custom uh clone legion and since it's on that blue there are some gun guns helping with the fighting yeah, um, two like, commanders or something. The HRT is piloted by a sergeant of this legion. There's an ARC trooper for, for the legion, like, shooting. I don't know, he's like back there. So, yeah, this mountain is kind of cool. Not uh, too bad. Yeah, uh, gun guns is coming this way. So, yeah, hope I covered everything on the top. If not, well, you saw it all. So, I'm gonna take off the roof now. So yeah, uh, sorry about like if I forgot anything from talking faster. I'm just like if I sound annoyed or anything. It's because I've recorded this. This is my thirteenth time recording it. So yeah, sorry about that. It's just that I'm just sick of recording the same video a million times. I'm pretty sure a ton of you YouTubers out there experience this at least. Sorry, at least some point. Or some, or some of you have at least experienced experienced this. Like where you end up having to record the same video a million times because of interruptions or people coming into the room or just simply messing up or something. So you guys clearly understand how I feel right now. Oh great, HRT down. I'll just fix that. So nothing to actually didn't damage a single thing. On the base, but just at the ATRD itself. Well. Alright, so here's just the top. <sighs> the top off, now onto the inside of the actual base. The most noticeable part, well, like, well, you guys can see now that I actually tiled, well, not tiled, but uh, put uh, pieces on the ground this, oh, for floor this time. But anyway, so the most noticeable part, if you just look at this one, this thing right here, this structure uh, built here is per well, it's purpose is actually one thing. It's the prison for Chancellor Palpatine, Eth Koth, and Kid Fisto. I believe that's who they are. Hold on, I have the box for set Palpatine journal right over here. Uh, all right. Yes. What's his name? What's his name? Oh, whatever. It's the wrong guy. I get them mixed up. It's not Eth Koth. Whatever. It's that dude. I don't care anymore. Alright, so that guy, that Jedi. It's always Eth Koth, because he looks like him. I thought. I don't know. I'm just having a long day. But anyway, so right here. Uh, well. Yeah, this structure here. Just supporting this. Um. Uh, there's this area right here, which is communication area. Boy, hold on, I forgot to finish explaining that. Oops. Actually, hold on, let me just say this. There are some droids here, just on the computers, on chairs, and whatever. Once we're going on the stairs to join the battle. I noticed with this, <coughs> their prisoner, those poles right there are stopping them from using the force. And, oh, <coughs> wow. And, um, yes, yeah, so the prisoner, these guys are trying to free them because they found out that they were here. So they went here first because they need some more Jedi. Well, not Jedi, but they just need more clones. And, yeah. So, there's two Umbarans, three Assassin Droids, and they're all in charge of guarding these guys. Plus, they don't have to really guard anything because there's a force field that stops them from using the force. But it doesn't stop them from getting out. And, like, they can't force jump or anything. There's... That's how the force. Right underneath it, there's the power generator for the base. It's powering this and everything else on the space. There's two like torches down here. And droids marching down to join the battle. Which I don't know if they're actually in the exact middle, but who cares? There's some storage crates over here. Uh, two speed spe uh, speeders. Just in case someone needs to make a quick escape and whatever. The reason why there's not like too much in this base is because the Republic in fact uh like made a decoy and had like most of the separatist forces here 
go to like uh, try to attack them, but it was just a decoy, so they couldn't like. Uh, so they had lose more troopers here. Those were destroyed, and the troopers that fought the tro uh, clones at the bottom base of the uh, the clone base were in fact from here. So yeah, and one of the droids that killed, uh, they actually found out that they were actually here. So now, yeah, the floors like. The fire up in this color is just for this area, that color for this area. Very much of this whole section would have been that color, but there's a separate area for the speeders, and there's for one reason. It's that. Uh, -huh. uh whatever. Don't know why, I just thought it looked cooler that way. There's some storage crates here. <coughs> and there is, in fact, this dude, General Krill. He is here because. In this base, the Republic doesn't know that he's already here, but he's basically like warning them that they're warning the Separatists that he, they're under attack here. And whatever, he, he might actually try to escape, I don't know yet what I'm planning on doing with him. He might escape or he might not, he might end up fighting in a battle with the Jedi that gets killed. But I'd have to make my own custom Jedi for that to happen, he'll have to be freed at another base. Or sent down a ship, I don't know yet. But. You know, because no one's supposed to know he is with the Separatist. So he's here, he's talking on a hologram with Darth Sidious, which in fact I actually do have him. Yeah, th like, I know before I've done like things where I don't actually have the people, but like, I have them talking to them anyways. I actually did it you know, with like bases I built for fun, because it was before I had YouTube, but whatever. So there are these cool overhangs here that actually help to support the top. Yeah, the rollings here. And I've gone over most of the base except for this one section here, which is the recharging center. There's just a Kano uh, droid in there, his guns there, general so that service is stored there. And this is basically they just turn it on like here, and they walk in here and get charged. The tops easy to get on. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of my base. And just so you know, this is all tiled. It's not like somehow I just stopped any worse. But I won't like, let you guys know I spent about like 24 hours worth of time, well, worth of hours on this. Not like 24 hours straight or anything, but 24 hours like, worth of time, like total, I guess. Because I spent like uh, five days working on this, but not like ton of hours a day, I probably spent about 6 hours a day making this, I don't really know. Not 6 hours, more towards like 5 hours, roughly 5 hours a day on this. Just like building, trying to think of new ideas. This mountain thing actually took about 2 hours to make itself, because of the stacking and making supports for it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I just want to point out that I actually used the whole wall design here, because why build a full wall there if it's just supposed to support? Or the wall of the mountain and stop it from like caving in. I mean, that does a lot of support, but anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And I am this is probably my best base so far, it's only my second base, uh, but you know, there's always room for a better one. In fact, I'm thinking about doing a uh, Probably sure my face there. I don't know. No, I didn't. Don't think. No, I might have. Whatever. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm thinking about doing like one base box. I think this might be a desert one. Don't know. Like I'll just do some things in between, thinking about what the next base is going to look like. So, yeah. Um, and down to grab that. Uh, I'm just going to leave this here. Okay, you guys saw me. Actually, you saw the room in my hat. Who cares? <laughs> Whatever, that's just no annoying me to no end. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to thumbs up this video and uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you actually like my com content, let me know. Personal message me on YouTube, whatever. If you want personal requests and don't want anyone to know about it. Or if you just want to request and like don't mind like actually telling everyone. But if you ever want to clone army, I'm not gonna do one of those until at least 2014 because 
I don't have, like, actually too many non-customized clones besides all the new ones I've been collecting for the last two years. I have not, like, I've not really been into Legos too much because I, it, like, died out of it, sort of. Well, didn't die out of it, but went into Minecraft. Didn't really pay too much attention to Star Wars, but now I'm back. And sadly, half my sets were destroyed. But, whatever, so, yeah. Like this video, whatever, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with a review of. I don't know, yet. Maybe. Actually, no, not a review of anything. Because I can't say a review of anything yet. But possibly a mini mock, if not the next mock of the series. So, bye.